Hi, I'm Kev. Lots of you know me as Englishman of the Soil on Instagram and you can find me there and lots of interesting blog posts. But today I'm going to show you how we use green toned pots and green toned wood fibre pots to grow herbs. Now what I've got here to start with is some coriander. These plants were pricked out from the rest of this tray uh, yesterday and there's just a few left here to give you an example of what we use on the green tones range to grow these on. So, wood fibre pots, they come in pairs, they come in packs of 20, uh, they're available on the Red Panda website, and what I'm going to do is show you how we prick out into these pots. So, using this compost mix, which has got some vermiculite in it, to keep a nice open texture, we merely fill these little pots up, like so, just tap them down, using a dibber, just make a small hole in each, and then we carefully lift plants out. So they've got a nice little seed ball or with the soil and we're only holding them by the leaves. We then pop them carefully into the hole and use the dibber to push down so that they're nearly level with the soil. So we just find another one here. Again, a nice little ball of soil around the root. We pop these in here. Push the soil down. You can already see the uh, new coriander leaf coming on this particular one. And then once we've done that, we just give these a light watering. It's important to watch the watering in the wood fibre pots for the first few days, because obviously this is a very dry material. What I do tend to do is give them three or four days to take uh, root, and then I might stand these in a tray of water for half an hour, a couple of times a week, just to keep, the, keep them moist. So, once we've got our herbs growing in there, until they are about this size, we can then do something else with them. Either A, we can put these straight into the ground or into tubs or containers in the garden, and they, you don't need to transplant these with by taking the plant out of the pot. These will actually, the roots will actually grow through the wood fiber. Or if we want to have basil, for example, as this herb is here on the kitchen windowsill, we can use one of these ranges of pots from Green Tones and actually pot them straight in. Now when these pots come to you, they are actually completely sealed and waterproof. If you want to have these with a draining in them, then you need to push through the four holes at the bottom with a, a little sharp screwdriver or battle. What I'm going to do is put them into one of these, because they really look very nice in the yellow. So we'll put a little bit of soil in the bottom, we'll pop our basil plant straight into here, make sure it fits. And then all we do is pop some soil around the edge, like so. What I can do here is actually use the dibber, as you can see, just to press the soil in around the side of the pot. Like so. Give another top up. If you work on a tray on the table or in the greenhouse like this, you keep the soil in one place and then you can tidy it up much better afterwards. So one final sprinkle of soil around. Pot's completely filled up with the plant. Once again we'll water. That will also help settle the soil. I haven't actually made holes in the bottom here because these are all going to stand on the kitchen windowsill and rather than have a tray underneath to catch the water um, I can just keep the pot whole. Don't over water otherwise the roots will rot. But the roots will now grow through the wood fibre and into the soil around it. And you can do exactly the same with these little pots as well. So again we just pop the plant in and then we'll put the soil around the outside. Give it a bit of a shake as you go. Bit of a tap down. Use the dibber to push the soil in the little gaps around the side. Like so. Again, give it a water. Like so. And there you have, firstly, basil repotted on and coriander prickings taken out 
and put in the wood fibre pots where they can grow on stronger. These will actually be planted out into the herb garden um, in the border, straight into the ground. The roots will grow through and you won't have to transplant. Everything here completely biodegradable, 100% eco-friendly. Ditch the plastic, get on to green tones, pots and look at us in Red Panda or look at the link in this particular video. Thank you for watching, enjoy your gardening.